Hello everybody, Wise Guy here, bringing you another episode of my server, the Stonebreaker server. Uh, it's been a while, I haven't been doing too many recordings, but hopefully I can, you know, oh, start adding some more stuff. But right here I'm just standing on the front doorstep of my hunting lodge or manor or whatever, I, I don't even know what I'm going to call it. And this is the kingdom I have so far. I've done quite a bit of work off camera. Uh, over here is just a clump of buildings. I'm going to put some villagers in. Fountain, I'm sure you've seen the pen over there. And I don't know if you've seen this, but this is my my barn, so to speak. And back here is just my massive farms of wheat, potatoes, sugarcane. And over here, nether wart, pumpkins, watermelons. I just got those mixed up. Watermelons over there, pumpkins here, and carrots. I pretty much only use carrots for potion making, and same with the nether wart. Uh, I usually eat a lot of bread, but I slaughtered all my cows recently. I think I left two, so I need to start breeding them again. We'll do that off camera, or I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I've been a busy bee a little bit. I haven't been too active lately on here, though, so I'm hoping to change it. Now... We do have an objective today, though. As you can see on my bar here, I got a lot of wood. <laughs> Sorry, I'm immature sometimes. But we got a lot of wood here, and I forgot to get a wood bench, so we'll just do that. Our objective. Make my nether hub look pretty. It, well, not my nether hub, but my tunnel. It, it's just a long tunnel right now. And I have an idea for the floor. I'm not so sure on the side. Rain. Of course. I start recording and it starts raining. Uh, let's see here. Particles. Where's the particles? Minimal. There we go. So, let's get on with the show. Let's get in here. I've actually done... Oh, I haven't done any work on the uh, actual railway yet. But as you can see, I've actually done quite a bit of work in clearing it out back this way because I'm gonna do something with this I need a way to get down and I'm gonna go crystal hunting eventually and uh, for unfortunately it ain't too far from open nether right behind the portal which is very nice so here is what we're going to do we're gonna get rid of this first put it right in here for now um, first thing first I want to replace these real... Did I get that? Yeah. I want to get these replaced first because then I'll... They'll already be play, the, mm, they will already be replaced. And since my torch is down there, well, I won't have to, you know, take everything up and, you know, find the torches again. So I'm just going to do this. And pick it up. I want to make sure they stay powered. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Up, up. Oh. Ah, I'm trapped! Oh well. Stay. I'll go ahead and place these down here since I have them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's keep going. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to the end for this. We're just going to do an experiment. All right, that's good enough for now. Right, next phase of the... Let me go ahead and start here. Next phase. Tear it up. Tear it up, baby. There we go. And relay this in its place. And and then relay the tracks. Okay, that's good, that's good. Looking good. I just, I was getting tired of looking at this. I was never sure if I was going to do anything like this. But, might as well go ahead. I can make an episode out of it. I won't make it too, because I'm sure it's pretty boring, or so forth. But, to keep it from boredom, 
we're gonna do something. We're gonna do a little bit of talking here, and not just normal talking. We're going to talk politics. This is, you know, it's difficult. You got to talk politics when you don't really have to. But talking politics, especially when it's someone, you know, not in front of you, can be a pretty touchy subject. Because if your opinions usually aren't the same on the internet with the other person, you're probably wrong and you're going to die. Or, you know, burn in hell, what have you. That's just my experiences I've had, uh, you know, surfing the internet in the days past. But we're going to talk about, you know, we aren't going to talk religion. We're not going to talk anything like that. Nope. We're going to talk guns, guys. Let's talk about guns. Let's get the whole gun debate going here. So I invite you guys, to those of you that watch, leave some comments with your own, you know, thoughts and ideas. But here's the catch. There is to be no... F Ooh, I'm missing a... I'm missing a rail. Where did my rail go? Oh, it went down here. Okay. The catch is, there can't be any flame wars, guys. If we're going to do this, we're going to talk in a nice, civil manner. Nobody's going to start rage wars, and I'm sure there's going to be somebody that, uh, that does decide to start some rage wars. And, you know, that's it's unfortunate, almost unavoidable, but I just want to talk to you guys. So, clearly, if you, are a, if you live in the United States, guns are big to-do right now. And I don't know if anybody here is a gun owner, but I am. And I am also, since I am a gun owner, I am a proud owner of one of those dreaded, actually two, of those dreaded black rifles known as the AR-15. Oh, what did I do? I think I'm done flux something up. Okay, there we go. I'm missing a track. Again. I don't know where it is. I'll have to put a new one down. I have tons from caving expeditions I have done. I tore a lot of track up. Anyway, back on to our discussion. Our discussion is the guns. I want to know what everyone else's opinions and opinions are on the AR-15s. I mean, everybody, the Brady campaign, they all have their opinions, and I know... I am an NRA member, so you can paint me as the devil, if you so choose. But, I, there's... Everybody calls them an assault rifle. They're, they're not an assault rifle. I just, I don't understand. Assault rifles, assault rifles were banned in the 80s by the Ronald Reagan administration. To me, the definition of assault rifle is a weapon that can go between fully automatic fire, sing, or... Yeah, fully automatic or burst fire and single shot. That's my definition of a, of a uh, fully automatic weapon. The Reagan ad administration banned the, the, the uh, manufacturer oops, broke my peak. Banned the, which one is this? Okay. Banned the manufacturer, whoa! Manufacturing and selling of new fully automatic weapons in the 80s. And the only, the fully auto weapons that were already out there could be grandfathered. So, they weren't even, manu you know, banned assault weapons in my definition when I hear the term assault weapon. Um, there are assault weapons out there, but they are not committed in crimes. These assault weapons are, you know, $20,000. And you need tax stamps from uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms just to get one, and, of course, pass a background check. They don't just let you get a freaking uh, fully automatic weapon. Uh, so, it's, the whole issue is a moot point, really. It is, what's today's date? It's the 18th of June, 2013. And, as of this day, I just read an article in the news today. That, whoa, what is with this crazy lag? Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I just read an article that gun stores are just dangerously low on, you know, guns. Um, before I continue, this is my plan. Just do something like this. I don't know if you've seen B-double-O on the Minecraft server. If you haven't, go check him out. He's awesome. But uh, he did something like this with his tunnel. 
I'm, I don't want to do this siding like he does with sandstone, although it does look very nice when I considered it. I don't want to be a, a full-on copycat, so I'll have to figure out something I can do along the sides. But I just love this this style right here. It almost makes it look like actual tracks, so to speak. I just I really like it, so I just decided to do it. Anyway, back on to our, our discussion that we're having here. Uh, yeah, so assault weapons were banned in the 80s. The rifles that I own are not assault weapons. My rifles can only do semi-fire only. And, you know, if, if you're an avid supporter of the Brady campaign, I have nothing against you. Everyone is certainly entitled to their opinions. I just... All I can say is don't believe the Brady campaign when it comes to how they, or the media for that fact, a lot of the media is very liberal. But don't believe what they say these deadly assault rifles really are. They can't, they are not fully automatic. Whenever you see the media try to villainize, you know, AR-15s, they call them all fully automatic. It's not the case. You cannot get fully automatics just in a gun shop. It's impossible. You need even the gun shops have to have a special classification to get it done. Um, yeah, you you, you can probably tell this is a a pretty big subject for me. It's I again. Here's my disclaimer. I personally oh lag. Here we go. That's some fraps lag for a moment. Sorry. I am not you know, trying to say that those that believe the Brady campaign or whoever's anti-gun campaign are bad people. I've said it once, I'll say it again already. Everyone has their own opinion, and this one just happens to be mine. Uh, Brady campaign and so forth, they give bad information when it comes to assault rifles and, you know, difference between assault rifles and regular rifles. There really is no difference. Well, I mean, there is a difference but they try and make it seem like there is no difference. Uh, what else? What else is there? High capacity magazines. As an AR owner, I do have many, many 30 round magazines. And, you know, I don't know how to, how to word it properly anyway. Uh, how can I word it? High capacity magazines are not the problem. I actually watched a video where a person took some magazines, loaded 20 rounds in one in a 30 round magazine, and 20 in another one uh, for a couple a couple ways. I, I want to say that he loaded 20 in one and then 10 in another to simulate the 30 rounds. And he fired the 30 rounds, you know, not trying to quickly pull the trigger or anything like that. In maybe, I don't know, 15 seconds. He took his time, took his time, aimed, shot, aim, shoot, aim, shot. He's not just spraying and praying to get it down range quick. And, you know, roughly 15 seconds or so. He then took the 20 round magazine and... We're running out of stairs here. Took the 20 round magazine shot it, and then had to do a reload to get the next 10 out to equal to 30. And there was like a half a second to a one second difference between the two. There really is no difference. But, ooh, there really is no difference when it comes to that. A half a second is not going to make a bit of difference at all. That's very... Just targeting the magazines is, it's ridiculous. It's, I don't understand. Plus, at this point, it's not going to do any good anyway. I like to shop on a website called brownells.com for any of my AR components. And they actually sent out an email to their people that buy from their stuff that's on their mailing list that they had sold 10 years worth of 30 round magazines in just a week's time frame. So congratulations if the assault weapons ban passes, since they aren't assault weapons to begin with. But you've, there's already 10 years worth of magazines out there. Now granted, magazines don't last forever, but if anybody out there knew that this day would come like I did, I have bought 
uh, extra springs to fix magazines that go bad. I and I also bought a lot of spare components too for my guns in general. So if they go bad, I can just replace the part and keep going. I have enough. I bought enough spare magazine springs to last me a century in my lifetime anyway. And whenever my kids get my guns when I die, they'll have enough springs to keep them going. It really doesn't take much. But, uh, yeah. This is looking pretty good. I, I like this. This is kind of nice. I just need to figure out a style for the side now. And I need to get some glowstone or something up in here. I don't know what I should do for the room. Um, so yeah, I, in my opinion, it is much too late to ban assault weapons. When the original assault, I keep pressing Q, I am such a loser today. It is just much too late, where's my torches? Much too late to put a ban on these deadly, quote-unquote, assault weapons. They're already out there, first of all. You can't get rid of them. And I fear that if the government were to ever try to go into people's homes to get them back, it would cause too many problems. And I think it would cause a war. A whole new civil war. Personally, this is all my opinion. Nothing is proven. And I could be completely and utterly wrong. If you completely disagree with my views, you are, I invite you to you know, post your opinions in the comments. Just, I implore you, please keep it civil. No name-calling, none of that nonsense. I'm genuinely curious what you know other people think. These are just my views. Okay. Uh, but yes, back on our subject here, as I'm trying to do this and talk at the same time. It's really hard for me to breathe and, you know, do other things at the same time. I'm just not a multitasker. Bam. Okay, I need to get rid of some stuff. Get rid of that. There we go. I need to dump stuff off. If they wanted to regulate your banned guns in general, they should have done it a hundred years ago before, you know, a large portion of the population had the ability or had guns. That's when they should have done it, and today you and I wouldn't be having this com this uh, conversation because I wouldn't own it, I wouldn't know anything about it, and I wouldn't be, you know, such a fan of shooting. But it it's just far too late. As of right now, the gun stores, the guns, the gun store owners cannot keep the guns on the shelf. They're just flying off so fast because people are afraid that uh, the ban is going to pass. By the way, I don't know if you heard, but uh, I think the Democrats said that they don't have the votes to even get it through. So there may be hope that it doesn't get banned. Now, you may be saying, well, geez, wise guy. Where's the line? Where do you stop? I mean, if every civilian has an AR-15 deadly assault rifle that should be only owned by the military. Where'd my track go? There it is. Has a deadly assault weapon that the military has. Damn, I keep forgetting to pick it up. That, where am I? Man, where am I now? I'm all confused and confobulated. Uh, where was I? Oh, that's right. Has a weapon that they all own. Why don't we all just give RPGs, you know? Just give every civilian an RPG, because you seem like you need it. Come on. Let's get realistic here. We are not talking about highly explosive rocket-propelled grenades or anything of that sort. And you know what really grinds my gears? When people talk of, say, how powerful the AR-15 is. and uh, AR-15 is not powerful. The 223556 is so far down the list when it comes to projectiles and power, it's not even funny. Take for granted, take, use this for example. The M1 Garand, the main primary issued weapon during World War II for the Allied, well not all the Allied forces, the Americans and I believe the Canadians. That bullet shot a 30 out 6 the, oh, the entire bullet of a 223 could fit inside the casing of a 30-06. The 30-06 was that big and powerful. So keep that in mind if you are an anti-AR-15 or a pro supporter of the assault weapons ban. It is not a powerful weapon by any means. 
In fact, some, you know, military people hate the M16 because it's just not powerful enough. When they shoot the enemy, the enemy gets right back up and runs away or, you know, keeps shooting. It's just not a very powerful round. The main purpose of 223 was to pretty much just wound the enemy so it would force the enemy combatants to get their comrade off the field and bring more man and materials up kind of thing. It was meant to maim. But that's enough about that topic for today. Um, this is what we've done so far. Just you, you and I having a nice little conversation. And I'm going to have to go get more tracks. I'm going to have to go lay down some more stuff. I need to get rid of some of this. Let me drop some of this off here. And let me, let me go ahead and go down the track line here and get rid of all of the... Or replace all of the powered. <clears throat> Sorry. Replace all the powered power blocks with the uh, wood, so I don't have to worry about it. Um. But yeah, I again, I invite you guys to certainly voice your opinion down below if you would like to. I just ask of you to please keep it civil. No name calling. No. You know, any of that nonsense. Um, but I will leave you with this. Or on that topic, anyway. I'll leave you with guns and how people claim that they kill people. Guns do not kill people. People kill people. And if guns killed people, I could blame my pencils and pens for wrong answers on tests. And I could blame spoons for making me fat. Yes, I am fat. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm trying to lose weight. And I will do it, because I'm going to go skydiving. Heh, <laughs> that'll be awesome. But yes, it's big to it's big topic right now. I don't think it's going to pass, but then again, I could be wrong. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this off here. And yeah, I'll, I'll finish her here. And again, I invite you guys to please leave your comments on your opinion on the matter. And that should do it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I am sorry if I offended anybody with my gun talk. Um, if you like me, like the video, please rate, comment, and or subscribe. And I hope you have a good one. Oh, and by the way, I'm the only one on right now. So, there you go. Oh, one more thing. I don't know if I showed you this, but I replaced the entire ceiling with this stuff. I like that look better than just nether rock. And I'm in the process of replacing the wall with nether brick. And one of my villagers came through. Well, a couple of them came through here. And they're on the loose. Um, so I'm going to replace all this. The floor is all half slab since last time. Looks like Walking Agro over here did a lot of work. Walking aggro this way and slimes this way. Wow, look at him go. This looks nice. I like this. This looks real nice. But he really should be... Are these half slabs? No, these are full. He really should put half slabs in here. Uh, to stop pigmen from spawning on there. And if they spawn on here, they'll go out that way. This looks real nice. He did some good work here. Anywho, I will go ahead and cut her here. And I will see you guys next time. I, let me move this back here for him. I'm sorry, I get distracted so easily. I try and close an episode out, and then I get distracted talking about something else. Get down there! There you go. I did you a favor, Walking Aggro. You owe me one. All right, now I'm being serious. I will see you guys next time. And hopefully, we will be able to kill the Ender Dragon. Yeah, Ender Dragon! Take it easy, guys. Hey guys, real quick before you go, I uh, I've been experimenting. Experimenting. I have a ton of cobble and stone, so I I kind of like this setup that I have here. Uh, the fences are iffy, but for the most part, I think I'm going to do this style. Whatever I decide to you know put in here. Hmm. Interesting. Hang on. Eh, I don't know. I'll experiment with something to put on these sides, but yeah, I, I like this style. Uh, some of you may not, but I had just have so much of this resource on hand, 
and I, I kind of like it, so I'm going to go with it. So here we go. We're going to do this all the way down. Next time you see me, hopefully it'll be done. Catch you guys later.